Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over Bitcoin, see what is uh, possibly could be going on um, since everybody's extremely bearish. Once again, with uh, Bitcoin, uh, does it have more downside? You know, let me go over that lower time frame with you real quick with uh, Bitcoin. So, Bitcoin in this area did a wave down here. You can see this wave that it did. Okay, it looks like one, two, three. Four, and it came down in that five right there. You can see from that peak to that peak, you got your bullish divergence, blasting it off over in there. This is the area where I entered on some coins and uh, made some trades and uh, exited out over here. And now with uh, Bitcoin, did I say Ethereum? I meant Bitcoin is coming down to this area and whizzed all the way back down there, taking that out. So um, the issue with uh, uh, Bitcoin here, guys, is that you can't get a five-way move out of that. You can and it came down, it's over here. Um, but you can't rule out that this was more of a three-way move, and then it's coming down like like so, maybe blast back up into a fourth, and it might come back down here again. That's what I'm hoping that Ethereum, or uh, not Ethereum, I keep saying Ethereum, that Bitcoin will do something, you know, like some sort of uh, move, and uh, maybe like so. Um, no, that one looked right. Let me see, more like maybe something like this let me put it like that and then that could be a three and then maybe a four or maybe it's getting out of here now who knows right now and to do something like that possibly and come break that low and then that could be its last wave right down there on this section okay so now with uh with bitcoin here um on this whole section that it did if you're if you're extremely bearish and this is going to be the uh the deal people are going to give you the discount okay which is extremely bearish this is like absolutely uh crazy guys um if you think about that this is like well below ten thousand. okay so here's your two and then it's in the midst of a three four five okay um the, the issue with this wave to this wave is that uh, that third wave is just basically it's in wave one of three. This is your bearish count. And um, it needs to get like right there. Bounce on a four. Come down, break that five like so. So like there, you know, you can't rule this out. So then that whole thing there would be the three. Just like so. Another four. And then back down for a five. So you can't rule that out. I mean, you can't rule that out. But the uh, the look of it looks kind of goofy to me. Okay. So the reason is this right here. You see this? This is a flat ABC. Okay. ABC. And then I'm taking the uh, fibs on this move right here that it did and go in there. And uh, that's a 1.618 almost. Could come down there and touch that. So... I'm looking at more like this is a three-way move, guys, like this, A, B, C, A, B, C, and then here's your A. This is a B, a three-way move, up, back down, and then up, because this is a five-way move in there, okay? So this is a three-way move, and I'm just putting it, it's like Binance. If you think about it, like Binance coin went up into its wave a little bit, and then it, Binance was bullish, and then Binance made its stuff up here, right? And it was our it was already bullish. So Binance Coin finished back in June and went into a bullish sequence. Potentially, I'm not saying that it did. And then it's up there doing its correction. Bitcoin didn't, and it needs to finish off. So you see how the sequences can be different, where Binance can be bullish or Ethereum, and then Bitcoin isn't. Okay. So my my whole thing is that there, you can't rule this out. A W that was your X wave, and then it's coming down to complete that Y wave. To hit that 1.618 okay so the overall picture with uh bitcoin is like this abc there abc there and this is finishing off with a wxy or a three-way move like that so you can't rule that out um still thinking like right around that area the 15.3 potentially right down there to see what it's going to do um now, the other thing is, too, that I was saying that there's a potential. If you want to be, like, bearish on Bitcoin, you know, this is a pretty dramatic drop 
down, like right down here, a retrace, down here, a retrace, and then back down here, okay? Um, the odds of it just keep going like, like this, guys, um, you can't rule it out, but the odds that Bitcoin just keeps going like this um, is pretty low, right? At some point, the the this leg, this massive leg that it did, it needs to at least do a retrace at some point, right? It needs to retrace. You know, normally, uh, I mean, even if you took a five wave move, like let's say it's a five wave move, right? Some people might call this a five wave move. Like you got a one, two, there's your three, there's your four, and it's coming down for a five. So wherever, let's say it's that, at some point, this five wave move is going to finish and it's going to do a massive retrace. Okay. However, what if, what if, let's, let's say it is, let's say it is, I would go to a two day chart. Let's say Bitcoin is doing that. Or maybe this is a the leg and then Bitcoin came down here like so. You can't rule this out. Let's say this is a three-wave move. Here's a three-wave move. Here's a three-wave move. And then it blasts up like that, something like that, okay? And it is going to stay bearish. Let's say it's like that. You know, you can't rule that out either, guys, where it come down a three-wave move and a three-wave move. And then, you know, all the bearish thing is going to be going down to 10K. It could do something like that. And if it is... This right here, this right here will be a serious trick. It's something to think about um, where Bitcoin could be bearish. The rest of the crypto market like Ethereum finishes off its wave. BNB finishes off a wave. Other cryptos finish off a wave, right? So like I'll show you an example. Okay, so let's say Ethereum is completing that fifth wave as an example, right? So while Bitcoin goes up like this, Ethereum's got its way. It's in second wave. Ethereum goes boom, 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 and then it corrects. And then Bitcoin's right here, and it corrects. You can't rule that out. You can't rule that out. That is a potential. That is a potential. Or you know, if you're if you're bullish. So let me uh, clean this up for you. I'll show you. Right. So let's say you're bullish on uh, on Bitcoin. Okay. Um, this is the bullish count. Okay. This is the bullish count. W, X, Y, X, what, excuse me. No, let, let's go like this. Just go like that. And then within this is a W, X, Y. Let's say, let's call that W, X. And then that's a Y like so, okay? Like that. That's a bullish count. It's finished and then it's out of there, okay? That's a bullish count. That's that's the that's your most bullish option in my opinion. You want it to finish and then get out of there. And let me see, pull some fibs on that leg. Let's see if that whole thing could be a Y. It could, it could come down the uh, one point so fourteen five or something as an example. So maybe this whole thing, you know, you could have a W X and that whole thing's a Y. Okay, or you you have an option with a rare structure with Bitcoin. Just as an example, guys, is the uh, this rare one, W, X, Y, X, Z. It could be that. That's both bullish options that is coming down here and then it's out of there. Okay. Now, the uh, the bearish option, which is would be the mega, mega uh, in my opinion, the mega bearish option would be A, B, and then it's going up on a C. And then you're going to have something like this as an example. Okay. And then goes down like that. That's like mega bear. So right here, it does this. Wh whizzes up onto a C leg, a three, a three, boom, five, like so, right? Okay, so that's like mega bear because then it's going to go up here and then correct again. And that you can't rule that out either. And then there's like uh, where it's going to continue to keep going, like so, down to those areas. And that's like, um, this is still bearish in the short term, but then it ends here finishes and down here, and then it can go bullish again. So those really are your three options, okay? You have three choices, really. Finishing something here, or it's finished, or it's going to be going up in a corrective manner, and then it's going to be mega bearish again, or it's going to continue to go down. Those are your three options. So you can't rule out any of them. What is mine going to be? So I'm not going to be one of these uh, YouTubers that like, just like say, oh, you know, it might do this, it might do that, it might do this. Okay, I'm not going to do that. At least I have the balls to say what I think it's going to say. Because if I'm wrong, 
I don't give a shit. You know, and trading, you're wrong. You're wrong sometimes. That's just how it is. Okay. If you think somebody's gonna get on a YouTube channel and say, This is this is a, a Bitcoin is gonna do this, um, like a hundred percent of the time. That's not happening. It's not happening. So let's go to uh, the short term time frame here with Bitcoin. Let's see here. Okay. Um, I think that you do what I'm what I'm going to be doing right here with Bitcoin because I think right right here you have an ABC. Okay, that's five, and this is five. Okay, if that's five, that needs to have a partner with it, so it has to be a flat. This is five two. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. This is a flat. I know it's a very aggressive flat, but there's no other way to cut that pie. That's a flat. Okay, I don't care who they are and how long they've been doing Elliott waves. That's a flat. So you got a three wave, a three wave, and if you have a three wave here and you have a three wave here, you know what that means? You need one over here. You need one over here. So I am going to go with the highest probability. It's probably here's your A three wave okay like so and as your c okay to make this i'm gonna go with somewhere in this w that's your x wave and now your y like so that is what i'm going with that's what i'm planning for and checking out and then bitcoin is going to be ending somewhere like let's say 15.6 to as low as 14,000, something like that 1.618 would be the fib fib i would be checking out Okay, 1.618. So I'll go like that, put the top just like so. There you go. You see that area 15,400, 15,500. Okay, or maybe it's done. Maybe it's going to moonshot out of there right now. Don't know, but that's what I'm going to be planning for. That's what I think there's a good shot of it could be. I gave you the other two alternatives going up into a moonshot C wave. And uh, at that time, you want to be in some alts, maybe, I don't know, Bitcoin or something like that. You want to make your two, your three X? Well, it's not going to be in Bitcoin. If it does that, it'll be in some other coins. Just be careful which ones you get into. Watch for liquidity. Um, you know, monitor the risk. Keep the stop losses, et cetera, guys. You know that. And, uh, you know, if you exit out early, like I get messages from some guys. Okay, Greg, I, I sold my coins. Look, who cares? You sold your coins. It's done. It's over with. Go find another trade or somewhere to re-enter or go into another coin. It's not the end of the world. Did you lose all your money? No. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Start over. Forget about that. Learn from the mistakes. Move on. Or a guy's like, oh, Greg, I sold early. It's still going up. So what? The good thing about crypto is that you can find another one coming right around the corner that's going to be doing that moonshot. Or if you're looking for a short and you miss that one, there'll be another one right around the corner coming around for another short. Okay. So it's not a big deal, guys. That's just FOMO getting to your head, you know, driving you a little bit crazy. You think you start moving it. You got to just move on and go, okay, where can I find another one? If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.